What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. In this one, we're actually going to be going to Morgantown and starting the Wasted on Nuka Shine quest. Uh, and you know what? It's actually a pretty cool one because it actually has one of my favorite NPCs here in this game. I'm not going to ruin anything but uh, when it comes to the story, but... You'll see it, and I'll point it out as soon as we get there, and you see for yourself. This one probably isn't going to be that long, but it's all good, man. This is still a pretty decent little DLC. It's it's an alright DLC, but I just wanted to show you this one because it does have my favorite NPC. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so we actually have to go all the way up to Morgantown, so let's go. We'll just fast travel just to make it a lot quicker. And then once we get there, we, we have to find this little place where a bunch of college students and stuff like that got together and started having parties and stuff. I believe it's a frat house, but it's all good. They are no longer with us, unfortunately, as you will see. But it's pretty it's a pretty fun location. Um, oh, there's somebody's camp here. Should we check it out? It doesn't have anything spectacular but I mean might as well man I love uh, marsupial oh for some reason I thought there was five t60 jetpack that's a pretty decent price but realistically I'm not gonna be using that does he have two of those yeah he does all right um Nope, nothing here. Um, this one is empty, apparently. And this one is also empty. Very nice. All right. Well, now that those are empty, let's go find this frat house. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to come over here. Oh, well. Let's go. Oh, look at all these sleeping ghouls. They think they're slick. You're done. Ah! You're done. Uh, if I could hit you. Well, that was a terrible display. Let's take all of that for the gold and, and uh, steel. So I've actually been playing uh, Nuclear Winter. I'm trying to max out, so I'm grinding on it. But I'm pretty much starting from scratch. So I went from level 0 to level 5 in like 10 matches. So we'll see. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a long time. But I'm. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's just going to get progressively harder. There we go. Alright, so we actually made it to the frat house. This is the wonderful little frat house right here. MKM. Or maybe. I don't know what those Roman numerals. I don't know how to pronounce them. So don't count on me for that. Pie house. <laughs> I like pie. Wasted on Nuka Shine. Uh oh. I hear some baddies. I hear some baddies. Where you be at? Oh, I found one right here. Thank you for that. Where are they at? I can hear them. Ah! All right. Let's go down to the basement. Oh, I found one. What's up, bro? You have a good night. Got some instruments. Oh, you want to play? You want to play? All right. All right. I should take those for the plastic, but I'll be all right for now. These guys seriously drink a lot. What is wrong with these people? Oh, I got a hall table. Let's go ahead and listen to this. It's been, it's been hours, days. Who the hell knows? I'm trapped. I'm starving, thirsty. Everyone, since everyone drank that goddamn drink. Um, this was our final initiation. Me and my uh, buddy Max over there. 
Locked in here for the party, and then, then we were golden. You know, just one, one last test. They passed out red cups at the end. So to, to celebrate. Called it Luca Shine. Yeah. Dumped mine out when they weren't looking. <laughs> Max here. He didn't. Everyone was um fine at first. Until uh until they weren't. Oh, that sound, I uh I will never forget that damned sound. I I uh, I can't <sighs> now I am stuck here. I'm stuck here with no food, no water. Oh, and, and, and an old saw. I won't cut through shit. I'm stuck here. Oh, Max, Posey. Well, guy, but um, getting a little sick of his company. Is that it? So, it looks like we got another one right here, but I'm not gonna pick up two of them, so I'm just gonna keep this one. And we got our little uniform for this DLC the VTU jacket and jeans. All right, so now that we're here, though, all right, we might as well pick this up because we're gonna have to drink it here shortly. I didn't see any more hollow tapes or anything like that, so that's a good thing. Um, let me see. Messages. Nuka Shine. Ted, could we please nail down the plans for transferring Nuka Shine to Pie House for your party? Lewis won't speak another word to me until I've scheduled a date. And he's the only one with the formula. By the way, the joke, the pie news were... Uh, circulating about him got back to us. Not funny. His Nuka Shine is going to make your eviction party the event of the year. <laughs> so no more cheap jokes at his expense, okay? Judy Lowell, ETA, P uh, PSI chapter president. So it looks like they were going to get kicked out. So we drank a bottle of Nuka Shine. I mean, we have a bottle of Nuka Shine. Let's go ahead and drink that since it's telling us to drink it really quick. All right, where are we at? Uh, First things first, let's drop this. Drink. Oh, we're going to go on a magical little trip. Oh, there's a freaking... All right, we'll take it since I can hear enemies coming. I'm not trying to get blindsided here. Hi. Bye. I could hear more people. Where are they at? I think they might be in the basement. Oh, one's right here. Deuces. Where's the basement? All right, this way. Come on, baby. Where are you at? Goodbye. Goodbye. Was that everybody? I mean, I don't hear or see anybody, so I think that's it. It's gotta be. So, I mean, at this point, we just literally wait to find out what happens with Nuka Shine. Oh, there goes the eviction notice. Uh, malicious destruction of campus property, uh, repeated breach of anti-hazing policies, furnishing alcohol to minors. Wow, these guys were pretty freaking bad. Disorderly conduct, failure to maintain proper lawn care. I, I hear somebody. Wait, let me take this. Ah! Where'd you guys come from? Is that everybody? Should be. Let's take this just in case I decide to wear a baseball cap with this. Oh, time's up. What? Nothing? 
Ah, uh, you guys teased me. I got destroyed. This is the cool effect that Nuka Shine does, man. It freaking teleports you after you get so drunk on it. Pretty much you just end up in some random location around the map. It's pretty funny. Kind of reminds me, when I think about it, it kind of reminds me of um the freaking mission uh, with uh, in Skyrim. With Sam, uh, was, it's Sam, Sam something. What is going on? Dun dun dun! I wonder why I had to double load, triple load, quadruple load, or whatever load. Look at that, what is going on right now? So weird. Is this it? Oh, this is it. Really quick, before we discover where we've ended up, I want to see what it looks like to wear a baseball hat with this. No, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Alright, so let's freaking find out where we ended up. Oh, we ended up in the Cranberry Bog. This is crazy. Alright, so what does it tell us? Okay, so read the label. This should be under miscellaneous, I think? Maybe not. Oh, notes. It's got to be under notes. What am I talking about? Right there. Nuka Shine label. At our Alma water stands, a boy... Gray and cold, the steps behind him are the first threshold. Around the not the right corner, study the streets. Just to the left is the place we meet. There you can stain your skin with ink, but find the back door and you will and we'll get you a drink. Awesome. So that was kind of hard to read for some reason. So first things first, we're going to have to fast travel way back to vault University, which is freaking far. But you know what? Uh, it's by far the fastest way to get there. Because if we just walked there from the Cranberry Bog all the way to Morgantown, that would have literally taken like 945,000 years plus tax and shipping handling. And I'm not ready for all that. I don't even got the money to pay for shipping and handling. But, yep. This, uh, riddle was kind of difficult to figure out, um, if you don't know what you're looking for. But if you do know what you're looking for, or you do know how to translate riddles or whatever, it's actually pretty easy. So it's like, so we're here at vault -Tec University, and if you look right here, it says, At our alma mater uh, stands a boy, gray and cold. Here's a boy, it's made out of stone, it's gray, and of course it's made out of stone, it's cold. The, st the stones behind him are the first threshold, so this is the first place we go. Around the right corner, so we go right, study the street, just to the left is a place that we meet. So it says study the street, right? So here, we're at the street. It says, just to the left is a place that we meet. Okay, somewhere around here, right? It says, there you can stain your skin with ink. Gee, I wonder where we can do that at. I don't know, maybe the tattoo parlor? But find the back door and we'll get you a drink. And here we are, the back door. And just like that, we discovered the location of... of place oh that music that's gonna get me demonetized so it's all good I'm not even gonna turn it off I'm enjoying the music let's explore though 
I already know where we're supposed to go, but let's explore and see if we find anything interesting around here. Uh, gas signage? Alright. I'll take it. Once upon a time, there was a brain in a jar. <laughs> He lived happily ever after. <laughs> that's that's my favorite character, by the way. That dude makes me laugh. He's so stupid. Alright. Well. Through the hidden door it is. Alrighty. Let's look around here before we progress further. Nah, nothing significant. Some junk and stuff to loot around here, but I'm not here to loot junk. Maybe just impacts. Alright. Nothing. Well, let's go ahead and turn it off. Even though it's already too late, I'm probably going to get demonetized for that anyways. <laughs> and just like that, we made it to my favorite character. This is a freaking wasted uh, robo-brain. Must be my birthday. <laughs> Excuse me there. I could, I could, you know, really use a hand, and you got more than just the one. Hi, I'm Bev, and Bev Erich is the number one alcohol quality testing robot brain, and all of that is that happy, happy scale. Happy late, Jeff. Well, this juice joint's premier drink, Nuka Shine, is long overdue for a big quality test. Would you be a nice fella and whip me up a batch of Nuka Shine so I can do my job, please? I do have the recipe right here, but I think I might have sort of kind of dropped part of it in the lock supply room. Don't be me. Of course you did. Well, let's go ahead and get in here. Uh, restrictions to the supply room. As of now, access to the rear supply room is restricted to Lewis and I only. Nuka Shine continues to, uh, to be a collaborative team effort between all at the blah, blah, blah. But now that we're a real business, there's a real concern and regulations. Wait, what am I? Did I skip a line? What, what's going on? Okay, whatever. You guys can read this. Obviously, I can't read right now. It's all good. Restrictions to Biv. Biv is a prototype robot Lewis brought in to help us with the Nuka Shine initiative. He can intake and metabolize alcoholic beverages. There's more... There will be more instructions on how we use him in the future, but for now, please refrain from experimenting. More importantly, please do not tell anyone about him outside of the project. Again, I cannot go into more detail about the, uh, this time, at this time, but I need your support on this. Judy. Security door. General access to the, has been re uh, to the supply room has been revoked. For details, contact Judy Lower, blah, 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 hi, blah, that, that's her house. All right, so let's go to her house. Wait. Bib's the name, drink is the game. Okay, yeah. And I am in first place, oh boy. So, it was pretty hard to read with Bib there talking, not gonna lie. But it's all good, though. It's like, I feel like every single time he was talking, it was just too loud for me to read. Man, I can't wait. At the end of this too, you also get you unlock uh, crafting to make basically alcoholic beverages and stuff like that. I don't really use it to be honest. I don't think I've ever used it outside of uh, outside of uh, just this quest. But other than that, I don't think I've ever personally used it. All right. So we got to go around this. No, wait. Uh, yeah, this way. It's got to be since this is the only active quest that I have on, so. 
Judy. Oh, Judy. Let's start with that. And then, bam, 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 bam. Damn, bro. You guys got knocked out. Is that another guy right there? It is. Let's go say hello, shall we? Hey, what's up, for real ghoul? Just wanted to show you my nice little knife. Oh, I thought I was going to get two for one special on that one. Nope. Let's see what this place has in store for us. Got some more robots. These are just regular robots, though. Let's see if there's any hollow tapes or anything like that so we can get at least a little bit more information. I'm not Oxhorn here. I don't do, like, the whole... I mean, I love lore, don't get me wrong. But I don't go around reading everything at once on the channel. So if that's what you guys are looking for, you know, definitely advise Oxhorn or... Uh, suggest you guys watch oxhorn because that guy is like the master of freaking lore oh look here's a holotape let's go ahead and listen to this personal log timestamp one one two zero seven six one three four four my special edition nuka cola lamp arrived in satisfactory condition after a few modifications i am greatly pleased i clearly now have the greatest nuka cola collection in the city but I've pushed the capacity of this meager hovel to the limit. Solution. I need to procure a warehouse in Morgantown for further expansion. But first, I need the proper financial capital. I clearly need to strategize a successful commercial enterprise. University students are plentiful, but what do they want? Aha! Proposal. Students love alcohol, and I love Nuka-Cola. <laughs> I shall formulate a high-proof distilled spirit with Nuka-Cola. The perfect beverage. Hmm. It just needs a name. Nuka Hall? N Nuka, Nuka Mash? Nuka Brew? Uh, I'll get to that part later. Nuka Shine! Alright, so there's another VTU jacket and jeans right there. I wish this came with a hat. Though, I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, though. So let's go ahead and check Judy's terminal. Uh, supply room. There we go. Got access to the supply room. Uh, pledge guidelines, the Nuka Shine Initiative. Yeah, okay. I want to go and open that door. What's up, robot? Fermentation is a metabolic process that produces chemical changes in organic substrates through the action of enzymes. Thank you. You taught me something new. Now let me talk to you in your language. You're welcome. Goodbye. Wait, that's not even the exit. Way to ruin the exit. There we go. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I really want to unlock all the stuff from Nuclear Winter, man. I only have... I think the highest level I went was level 14, but that was on my old main character. But he got bugged out and stuff like that, so... I basically just started Nuclear Winter again with my new, brand new uh, main character. And he's barely level like 5 or 6 or something like that. So he kind of sucks. Alrighty. Where's it telling us to go anyways? Oh yeah, we have to go to the supply room. Let's go! Oh, we got some more Pharrell ghouls right here. What's up? 
I'm pretty sure that should have killed that first one, but I guess I missed. Alright. So those Pharrell ghouls are done skis. I think we're actually here already. Whoa. Lagged a little bit. What do you want? Can't I just go to the tattoo parlor in peace? Let's go! Dunskis. Biv, I got something for you, bro. It's called a password. Or a terminal password. Yay! Alright, enter password. Shine! May I enter, please? Thank you. Alright, there's a nice little note in here. I'll be taking that. The nuclear material. Nuclear material. Nuclear material. Hey, you let me out of here. No way. I am a full time rummy. And this cellar is my cellar office. Alright, so I've got to read. Ever does get you down, Look at shine ingredients. Okay. There we go. So I don't have any of this stuff. So we got to actually go gather it. Luckily, it always tells us where to get it. And it's literally like this little house right outside of town. So let's go ahead and go do that. So that we can get all this stuff. And it's literally all right there too. All the ingredients we need. Minus the nuclear material. Because the nuclear material is actually in the supply room. Which we just picked up. So it all it all ends up pretty pretty cake. These load screens take forever though. I will say that. And if you think the load screens on this is bad, man, the load screens on Nuclear Winter is like 50 times worse. Alrighty. See, look, that's only 92 feet away from here. Sorry, 93. I digress, alright? Leave me alone. Yeah, that's that little house right there. The the barn house. Geronimo! Aw. Alright, so what do we need? Wood, corn, razor grain. I don't have a... Man, I thought I had a Nuka-Cola. Three... Four corn. Uh, I think that's all the corn we need. So now we need wood and razor grain. Razor grain, where are you at? It's those little fuzzy bushes, all these things. All right, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. At least I thought it was five. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally upgraded. All right, wood. Is that five already? Yep, that's more than five. All right, so now I gotta find a freaking Nuka Cola. Where the hell am I gonna find a Nuka Cola? Actually, I got a genius idea. There's always Nuka Cola for sale at a gas station, at a tra uh, train station. Well, almost always. I'm not gonna say always because it does not always have it, but I found that it has it all the time. By the way, if you see a lot of loading screens with uh, rad rats, that's because I took like 900 uh, pictures of them trying to complete this order the tadpole thing or whatever. 
But for some reason, it doesn't register. So I gave up on it. I took like 400 pictures. Please have some. Now. Oh, okay, yeah, right here. Are available. Oh, not two. I want one. Just give me one. I want to see it update. Any minute now. Please update. Let me verify if I have one. Well, let's throw these away first. Uh. Yeah, wait, I already had. Oh, it's a Nuka Cola Quantum. What am I talking about? Be sure to stock up while you can. If you insist. But. I'm not trying to stock up. I just want a Nuka Cola Quantum. And he doesn't even have Nuka Cola Quantums. No! Monica! Resupply um, here, citizen. Where else could I go? Let's go here to this guy. I don't mind spending the caps. If I need to. And I clearly need to. So... Although he had regular Nuka-Cola, he didn't have Nuka-Cola Quantum. Nuka-Cola Quantum is my favorite. Oh, mainly because it's freaking cool and unique. And the fact that it's blue, since my favorite color is blue. Just saying. There we go. Please have a Nuka Cola Quantum. Talk to me, bro. This vendor Come unit on. is equipped with anti theft measures. Urgh. Don't get any ideas, chump. Don't chump me. Where can I find a Nuka Cola Quantum? Let me see if, uh, hold on. If I put this on the map, if it will show me. Oh, it's going to tell me to go all the way to. All right, you know what? Let's do it. That is a definite guaranteed place to get a Nuka-Cola Quantum. That's my old main character, rest in peace. Alright. Is this the way? Yes, it is. Alright, let's go ahead and go. It's getting late outside. Look at that. It's already dark. You can see the beautiful star the stars. It's too dark. We shouldn't be out here at this time. You never know what's out there out there to get us. So for now, we got to be quick. This place is infested by Pharrell ghouls, by the way. See? Luckily, they're weak. Come here, bro. Yeah. Goodbye. So now the question is, where in this gigantic facility will we find a Nuka-Cola Quantum? That's what I want to know. Because I think we're just going to have to get lucky and find one. Yeah, see, he doesn't even have a direct marker on where to find one. It's just basically saying, hey, by the way, there's a Nuka-Cola Quantum somewhere in this entire building. There might be multiple, though, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Oh, Nuka-Cola Quantums. I don't see any Nuka-Colas. There. Let's go this way. Awesome. Those guys are Dunskies. Mainly because they think that they can actually fight me, but they can't. As you, they just... Ooh, let's listen to this. 
Our latest market survey reports that healthy, on-the-go snacking is up 8% across all market sectors and is expected to propel demand across the next several fiscal years. Our first experiments are going to look at reviving celery-flavored sparkling beverages. It's a beverage that has its origins Gross. in the 1860s and has a built-in recognition with demographics that crave outsider <gasps> status. Yay! We think we can balance artificial flavors, package design, and marketing to convince people it has healthy benefits. We're working with legal to figure out the limits of what we can claim. But right now, we're leaning towards classic digestive beverage for the new generation. And or a green tonic water from America's greatest era. Alright, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and fast travel from here back to the tattoo parlor. We've already spent like a hundred caps probably just fast traveling from place to place. Obviously, I'm guessing, but... It seems like we spent a lot of money on caps. Any minute now with this super long loading screen. That I remember when I I have to take a picture of this guy, man, because when uh, when I first met him or saw this random encounter, I was like, what? That's so freaking cool. He sells two plans that are pretty unique. Uh, to my understanding, he's the only one that sells them, too. It's the lemonade and the uh, hard lemonade, I think it's called. Uh, and you can craft them once you obviously find those recipes on him. It's pretty freaking cool, in my opinion. But we're here. So let's go ahead and craft Nuka Shine at the brewing station. Whoop whoop! Uh, this way. Which is the brewing station? This one. Is it a beer? No. Nope. What? Oh, there we go. Fermentable Nuka Shine. There we go. No, get out of there. My ambivalation chamber is feeling... O-M-G. There we go. Or is that my combobulating unit here for a drink? I'm Warning. Experimental equipment. Since Nuka Shine is selling out so quickly, Lewis is working on a flash ferment, uh, fermenter uh, to age it faster. It's not ready yet, so for your own safety, please do not touch unless you are Lewis. I'm serious and about this warning. This Nearly lost an eye, and I wasn't even operating it, swelling. Judy. Well, since my first name is Lewis, spelled differently, but my first name is Lewis. It's actually spelled or uh, pronounced Louise, but everyone calls me Lewis, so we'll just go for that for the sake of this video. I, I can safely say I can use this. Ah! Oh. I think I broke your machine. Uh, here you go, Biv. Hey, Jake, you need me to test? Yeah, here you My go. My reviving chamber's always open. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Take do the freaking I thing. Smell me and Luca shine. Why yes, you do. Just put that in my environment chamber and go, 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 wow! Not <laughs> a drink. Uh, oh, excuse me. You're excused. Here's a report. Quality rating, blissful, side effects, Yay. illness, addiction, permanent brain damage. Uh, you know, the list goes on. It's not great, but you get the idea. Your customers will be raving if you serve this drink. So <laughs> I don't know. But do not sweat the details. Won't you come back tomorrow and help me with my daily quality test? I got plenty more recipes to try out. Sure, why not? Oh, look at that. Crafting item, Point brewing station, speed. and fermenter unlocked. So let's go ahead and, well, let's look at the rewards first. 
Oh, well, I guess that was the rewards. All right, so for now, let's go ahead and go back to the camp. And see if we even have the materials to craft this item. I hope we do. But it's the same stuff that we just used right there in Biv's uh, little place or whatever. So it is what it is. Any minute now. Can't you see I'm just trying to get people wasted here on Nuka Shine? There we go. Turn around, please. My beautiful little fort. Alright. I don't have... What am I doing? I don't have enough room to put them over there. So we'll put them against this wall. I can't even see if it's straight. Not really. Uh, eh, whatever, that's good enough. And then we'll put this one right there. Yay, got my brewing and crafting. Now I can make stuff. I need a hell of a lot of recipes, but you know what? It's fine. But that's going to do it for this video, you guys. We actually finished the Wasted on Nuka Shine questline and unlocked those two beautiful things that we have in the background, which gives us the ability to craft beer. If you go back uh, to Biv once a day, he actually gives you a daily quest where you are able to receive one of the uh, recipes that he has. There's a ton of them. I don't, I'm not even sure how many there are exactly, but there's a ton of recipes that you can make through this. And it's actually pretty cool and stuff like that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, if you guys are absolute alcoholics or anything like that, in-game, of course, drink responsibly. Do me a favor and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel as well if you aren't already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.